So, we have been praying the Lord's Prayer slowly. We have been praying it as if we were singing a song, putting aside all of our intellectual curiosities of whether our prayers matter, opening our hearts and closing down those thinking machines that rule us most of the time. We've already talked about our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Today, give us this day our daily bread. Now, it's not really surprising that our Lord's Prayer includes a prayer for food, food being one of the most fundamental elements for life, right? Only trumped by air and water. Give us this day our daily bread. As I prayed this prayer with my heart open, what really struck me was that word, us. It caught my heart. We don't pray, give me this day my daily bread, which is a prayer that comes with challenges enough. Things we very regularly take for granted. I mean, do you think you could really pray that prayer, give me this day my daily bread, really asking for just today's bread? Because really the prayer is not, God give me all the bread. The prayer is not, God give me loads of bread. The prayer is not, give me bread enough not to run out of bread. But wait. It is. If you believe it's going to deliver, you are praying for bread enough not to pray, run out of bread. If you believe God's going to deliver. But I ask you, can you imagine how peaceful you would be if tonight you went to bed and your refrigerator was completely empty? How peaceful, how calm would you feel? I know I feel much like the Israelites out in the desert, hoarding that manna. The manna they knew would come again tomorrow. The manna they knew would go bad the next day. They still hoarded the manna. And I think I might too. Just as much as this is a prayer for bread, this is a prayer for faith. Faith trusts for tomorrow's bread, to make sure everyone has bread today. The prayer is not, give me my daily bread. We pray, give us this day our daily bread. As I prayed that prayer, my heart was filled with these images all over the world of families and communities coming together and eating together in joy. Um, passing and passing on the smiles and sharing the fellowship and the love. And it struck my heart to think about all the different ways all over the world people come together and share the joy of food. We don't even all have the same customs of how we eat. I think that's just a beautiful thing to take a moment to dwell on. Give us this day our daily bread. But as I prayed that, I realized this part of the prayer implicitly implicates me to action. For the reality is, God answers this prayer every day. The world produces enough food for all the people on it. From worldhunger.com. The world produces enough food to feed everyone. At least 2,720 calories per person per day. Now you dieters out there, you keep track of your calories. 2,700, that's a good size number, right? The principal problem is that many people in the world don't have sufficient land to grow or income to purchase enough food. God gives us our daily bread every day. Isn't that amazing and wonderful and hopeful to make you think about this? 
this world can provide for everyone on it. God made the planet to provide for us, and it does. And yet, people go hungry. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization estimates that nearly 870 million of the 7.1 billion people in the world, or one in eight, were suffering from chronic undernourishment from 2010 to 2012. Almost all the hungry people live in developing countries, where about 15% of the population is hungry. However, there are 16 million people in developed countries who are undernourished. And developed countries are seeing a rise in hunger, as opposed to the reverse that was happening just a decade ago. And right now, in developing countries, one in seven households is food insecure. Now, to do a little ex uh, example, imagination of this, um, I brought up Zoe Ann Yeager. And most of you know Zoe Ann Yeager, right? She has seven children. Imagine one of her children, because we think one in seven. Imagine if one of her child's households was hungry. That would frustrate you. That would make you angry, right? And I want to remind you that poor nutrition plays a role in five million child deaths a year. Almost half of them. Give us this day our daily bread. Let us pray. God, give us 
this day our daily bread. Our hope and faith is in you. For you can work wonders we can't even imagine. So touch our hearts with the hunger of the world and fire our hands with the strength of your love so that we may 